Right, hello everyone. So, video a little bit of a difference today. I am in a place called Bettersea Coas. Hope I pronounced that right and I haven't offended any Welsh people out there. So, it's a small village in North Wales. Um, population, not sure of, I haven't Googled it. Um, but it's very small. You can walk from one end to the other in about five to ten minutes. It's that small. One main road running through it, but there's quite a lot of things here, there's quite a lot of shops. And uh, eateries, if you like. It's got a train station, which I'll show in a minute. Got me lad behind me kicking football. Um, yeah, so I've been away all week, um, been out to Liverpool, so I haven't been able to do much Liverpool stuff, either football club or with the homeless um, outreach teams, which I'm a bit gutted about, but I've needed a little bit of a break, so here I am. So this place, I've been to here quite a few times, so I'll, we'll take a little walk through, I'll show you some places that I know of, and hopefully you can edu educate me about the place around. Well. When I come back, I can do another video about it. But yeah, but we'll go and see what's what, okay? So first part of call behind me is St Mary's Church. Um, the church was built in... Well, they broke ground in 1870, and it was finished in 1907, so around 37 years to build. The cost was $5,000. The cost was £5,000 at the time, which in today's money equates to around half a million quid. I think it said 470000 but let's call it half a million. Um, don't know what it's cost to maintain over the years, because this will need a lot of maintaining. But yeah, it's a stunning place, as you can see. I don't know how old these are, but uh, Mary's not looking best pleased. I was just meant to be Joseph. Maybe it is. He looks a little happier. But as old as this building is, it's not the oldest building in the village. That's falls to this church, St Michael's, which is built in the 14th century. There's no exact date of when this was built, so if someone can put a date on it for me, that'd be great. But it's only a small church, but you can tell it's very old. <laughs> Got the very small bell tower up there. Now the chair's doors are open. Can we have, we have a quick look inside? Well, here it is. There's not much to it. in here, it really is. I'm so in full armour. Gruffords at Difford Cock. I will look that up and find out about it. Yeah, it's stunning here. It's really small, but it's really good. Shame there's no one here, so I picked the brains over it. It's all little things you can buy in here. It's like, a, um, like an honesty box. It's all stuffed down here. It's a price list. I'll see if I'm there. A card reader to tap your card. As old as it is, they've got with the technology. But yeah, it's amazing. Right, on to the next place. Um, 
Anna Davies, that's a bit interesting, that one. But before we go and see Anna Davies, I've just come across this uh, old train here. Let's turn you around. It is this. It's on a track as well. See the track down there. See, it's better to be there, I think. I have no idea about trains, so yeah. Any help on this would be great. So it must be a tourist attraction, it says there. Close for refurb. <laughs> this green one's piqued my interest. It's got, oh, it's got like fairground equipment in there. All right. There's a little dinosaur right there. Is it open at all? No, that's well and truly shut that. Shut tight that. Padlocked here. Yeah, look at it. I'll do some research into this because I'll, I'll be coming back here because I love coming here. It's um, one of my favourite places to come to. It's small, it's compact, and it's dead easy to get around. And I'd love to see. And as you can see with that church, there's quite a lot of history to it. But now, onto Anna Davies. I didn't know you could get to the side of it, so... Here it is on its track. It reminds me of Back to the Future. Back to the Future 3. Yeah, there's more signs on St. Clothes for refurb. Does this green one remind you of Thomas the Tank Engine? Reminds me of it. Put all the ivy growing on it though. Hate that stuff. It gets everywhere. And this is Betis E. Coed's train station. Now there's all shops that lead onto the platform here. Uh, one of them is a bit further down over there. Where the red benches. There's a, it's a nice little cafe. And breakfast there earlier, it was lovely. Oh yeah. Definitely, 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 definitely onto Anna Davies now. <laughs> So this is Anna Davies. Anna Davies opened her first shop in 1956 when she was 16 years old. She originally opened it as a, a, a wool and textile shop. And I believe it's this one here that she first opened up. Then as the years went on, she branched out. And as you can see today, she owns this whole row. Right to the end of the year, that's Anna Davies Jewellery. Now, interestingly enough, in 1971 she married and changed her surname to Evans, so she's now Anna Evans, but obviously kept the name of Anna Davies as a brand name. When she married her husband in 1971, she purchased this, the Royal Oak Hotel. So from the end of the pub, all the way along, Is the Anna Davies brand, including the Royal Oak Hotel, which apparently is haunted. So I might book a night in there one night. Signs of ghost hunts. So my favourite place to be is here. I think this is the, the selling point of this place. The waterfall behind me. Like a mini Niagara Falls.
boss comes up and down. No, it must come down the last. Look when it rains, it's even heavier than this. It comes a lot higher as well. But it's, this is the only rough part. Because once, once it gets past the X, down here, it goes through that bridge. It goes the calm and levels off. So, this way it rushes down there. It looks a bit rough, but once you get past here and down through there, it's nice and calm again. Just a little bit of a white water rapid here. Yeah, so that's a flying visit of Better City Coed. There's plenty to do here. There's the shops, there's, oh, there's a lot of hiking shops, but a lot of hiking trails as well. There's trails you can go on. There's, I think there's a two mile trail that you can hear. Uh, End up at Swallow Falls, a big waterfall you can go to. Um, plenty of restaurants, hotels, pubs, loads to do here. Once I come here for a week, but it's, it's, it's good for a, day, a weekend or a few days away. Especially if you're traveling, traveling around Wales, it's good to see. If you like it, you want to see more like this, let me know. Let me know if you know any more that I don't about the place. That would really help me else. I could come back and do you know a more in-depth video of it. Um, leave us a comment. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. But apart from that, speak to you all soon. Bye now.